company will serve as a demonstration overview of how to use the GeoVision Edge Recording Manager software. Um, this is the software that you can put on your laptop or your desktop machine and be able to remotely view your camera system. Um, so let's just jump in. Whenever you first pull up the software, you're going to have a blank slate like you see here. And most likely your installer has already added your cameras to your host list over on the left side of the screen. Um, you may see this named uh, by the name of your facility or your location. And you'll see a plus sign just to the left of it. If you click on that plus sign, um, under that host, it will give you the, name, or the camera list. And then when you expand that camera list, you'll have all of your cameras from that particular location. Um, most likely, they will actually be named like you see here. Um, if you see them that say camera 8 or camera 4 or you know, just a generic camera number, um, that can be updated and the cameras can be named however you want them to be. Just contact your installer and they can do that. All right, so to bring cameras in, you just find the cameras you're interested in and just uh, click and drag and drop them in the area that you want them to display. So it's very simple to, um, to get your cameras laid out. And um, once you get your cameras laid out, um, this is when you can actually start to interact with the cameras, do your zoom and control and those kinds of things. Um, you can also create favorites. And before we get into that, um, I will also point out up here in the top left, you have different camera divisions that you can choose from. So um, if you wanted to do, say, like a 3x3 three three grid, you can just click on that, and then um, you've got those cameras laid out in a 3x3. Three three. Now, um, if you want to full screen a camera, you just simply single click on the camera. It'll bring that camera up full screen and full resolution. And if you want to zoom on the camera, you can just take the scroll wheel on your mouse, and when you start scrolling, it will zoom that camera in. And you'll notice down here on the right, you have a little green box. When you hover over it, it puts a uh, crosshairs icon. You can just click and drag to look around at your scene. And then as you zoom back, it will take you back to the full overview shot of that camera. And if you single click again, it will put you back in your matrix view of your cameras. All right, now, specifically with these FishEye 360 cameras, they have what's called de-warping capabilities. If you don't like this circular view that the camera's in, you can do what's called de-warping of the camera's image and put it in a different view mode. To do that, you can just right-click on the camera and go to what's called Geo FishEye right here. So just click on that. And by default, most likely, it'll put it in this quad view here where you have four separate quadrants. Each one of these quadrants, you can do what's called manual pan, tilt, and zoom control. So all I'm doing is just clicking on that quadrant, dragging, and moving it to where I want it to be focused. All right, so you notice this makes it to where each one of these different uh, boxes becomes, in a way, a camera, and you can move it around. You can also zoom just by uh, scrolling with your scroll wheel on your mouse. Now, one thing to point out is you don't need to worry about um, this because it won't mess up anything as far as your recording. You're always re going to record the camera in that 360 degree image and um, even in playback or live view you're able to move it around like I'm doing now and it doesn't affect the image. You're not going to mess up any recordings or anything like that. So feel free to explore um, as you like. Now when you have the camera de-warp you can also right click again and if you go down here to fisheye options there's a thing here that says camera mode. There are four different views that this fisheye camera can be put in. And um, if you just click on the next one there, um, you will get another view option. This one is called dual 180 mode. And this is just two back-to-back -back 180 shots. And again, you can, um, you can click to drag and look around as well. All right, and then lastly, um, in the camera mode, you have the 360. And this one, again, has two quadrants that you can move around while you have the 180 uh, view at the bottom. To get out of the fisheye mode, you just right click and click Geo Fisheye again, and then it puts you back in the circular view. Now, if you want to watch playback video of a camera, 
you can right click and hit remote playback. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop up um, this window on the screen here. Um, you may get a um, icon that pops up and asks you to download some codecs. If so, it's okay to just go ahead and do that and it'll allow the video to play. Up in the top, top right hand corner here, you're going to have a calendar. And this has got your months and your days for those months. So let's say that I was interested in looking at my video clips from December 2nd. I just click on the second. And then right down here below, I have all of my time stamped motion recordings from that day. Um, so let's say if I um, knew something that happened around 10 o'clock um, or 10.05 or whatever, I can click on that particular time and then it's going to bring up that recorded clip for me. Uh, it looks like in this particular clip, the uh, uh, the light that turned off there in the bathroom triggered the uh, motion here in this scene. Uh, but once you click on the clip, it's going to automatically just start playing back the clip for you. Now, um, once you are here and you found the clip that you're interested in, if you want to be able to save that clip, you can right click, go to Tools, and Save as AVI. When you click that, this window will come up. And typically, you don't need to do anything on this first screen. Um, the only thing that I will point out you can do if you want is you can trim down the video length if you need to. So let's say you're only interested in a few seconds worth of the clip. Um, you can drag that down there. The one thing you will want to do, though, is hit this setting tab right here. And under the first section here, set location, you want to click on this box. And this is basically saying, I want to save this clip to this location. Um, so I'm going to just um, put this on my desktop. I'm going to name the file. So you just type in whatever you want to name the file and then hit save. And one very important thing that you'll want to do here is at the bottom where it says codec, you're going to want to click that and hit WMV9. This puts it in a format to where this can play back on a PC that just has a Windows Media Player. And it makes it to where you do not have to have GeoVision software to play the clip. So when you need to turn the video over to police or law enforcement, um, this is a good uh, feature to be able to use. So once you have that set, you just hit OK. And um, right here, it's going to start backing up that file. And it may take a few minutes, just depending on the, uh, the length of the clip. Uh, this one seems to be moving fairly quickly. So I will let this one just go through here and then show you how to be able to watch the clip. Okay, and our clip is now complete, so um, you can click on the little green arrow button there, and if you want, you can just click this to play the clip, or if you hit open path, it's going to pop up, um, it'll bring to your desktop, um, and then you can just go in and you can find um, that clip name. Uh, for the simplicity of this demo, we'll just go the, uh, the play route and then it'll go ahead and just pull up right here in Windows Media and there's our clip. All right, so that's going to be how you'd save a clip. Um, when you're done, I recommend just clicking right here and hitting clear and then <clears throat> that'll remove that clip from your uh, from your list here for the next time that you're going to back up a clip. All right, so the next thing I want to show is how to create favorite sets of cameras. Um, if you have a view up with cameras on it and you want to just clear them out, right here this button, close all video with the red X. Hit that and all cameras are gone. So let's say that I want to create a four camera view. Um, I just simply click right here on four channel. And then from my list, I find the cameras that I'm interested in. I'm going to grab those four cameras right there. And I'm going to hit this Favorites button and hit Add to List. I'm just going to call this one Demo Quad View and hit OK. And once I do that, I hit Favorites again, and right there, Demo Quad View is now added to my list. 
So you'll notice here I have several favorites created, and this allows you to just be able to quickly call up a set of cameras that you need to reference very often. Um, so if I click on this one that says Fisher's Office, there it pulls in the cameras that I already made in a different favorites group. And then when I click our demo quad view, there are those cameras that I just had uh, created. So again, this is just a quick way to reference your, uh, your cameras when you need to, uh, to find video quickly. All right, that is a uh, quick overview of just some of the basic features of the Edge Recording Manager software. Again, this is available um, in a Windows version and a Mac version. Uh, it can be downloaded right off of our website, which is www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thank you.